Hi! What's that? What's that? Are you with me? Hi, I am Tim Testa, 17, cloning batch 3, and You know, I'm not the smartest guy in the world. I'm third smartest. Welcome again to Face the Opposition. You just tuned in today to Sticky Buns. Hi, I'm Lindsey Walker, here with my partner Chip Bonifay, a former two-man player who had to retire due to being pathetically out of shape. Well, here's your host, Skip Breakfast. Hi, and welcome to You, you Don't Know. No, okay, no. I can handle this, I can handle this. I really wanted to go to the first destination. Well, that's too bad, we're going to a new one. You are a bad driver. I am not! How much would you expect to pay? Well, what do you know? How about $9.95? Sure. Maybe $19.95? Okay. What about $69.95? Alrighty. Then get out your wallet, you moron. It's time to pay. Okie dokie. I'm like, sure I'm not the most desirable guy in the world, but thanks for setting me up with Chewbacca. <laughs> <laughs> Gee, did you enjoy the movie? <laughs> What happens when you take a group of young college students from different backgrounds and a father from the suburbs, his kids, and their puppy and have them live together for a year in a two-bedroom apartment? Wow, heavy grapes. On average, bees make 80 pounds of surplus honey, and it takes 2 million flowers to make just one pound of honey. And there's 30,000 bees per colony, each one making in their lifetime one twelfth of a teaspoon of honey, then. Fall down to Honest Buzz's Honey Barn of Honey. We have so much honey, it's in our name twice. My hobby, my new hobby, piggyback rides. Free. Adults, senior citizens, free piggyback rides. Free. My new hobby, piggyback rides. Anybody want a piggyback ride? No, sure? It's just delicious. Here's how we make it. First, we take a banana and we shove a stick into it. This used to be me eating way too dang much. Now here's me today eating a more reasonable portion. Our nightly panel discussion on today's hot topics. Joining us today from the right on the left of your screen is David Atkins from the lobbying group Weapons, Weapons, Weapons in Washington, D.C. Joining us from the left in the center is Shoshana no last name from the lobbying group down with weapons, weapons, weapons. Sunk my battleship. Let's take it outside, buddy. Oh. What you need to do is remove the lid. But then, in 1962, three men spent many months chipping holes in the back of their cells. They stored tools and escape equipment behind false cardboard grates. To fool the correctional officers, they made model dummy heads of themselves from wire, newspaper, concrete, paint, and human hair. Then, on June 11th, they went out the grates, through the utility corridor, and escaped through the ventilator shaft on the roof. You know, hey, I'm trying to raise my kids here, you know, so all I ask, I don't ask much, is that, you know, we're in bed by a reasonable hour, we keep the house tidy, we do the dishes. How's everybody feeling out there? Okay, well, you're about to try a new fitness craze. It's going to sweep the nation. Okay. Are you ready? Okay. It's called Comedia Aerobics. Huh? You all remember Groucho Marx. Let's do the Groucho. Ready? Follow. I'll do it first, then you follow. Ready? Here we go. Hey. I'd exercise, but I'm allergic. Okay, hey. Howdy. And we have the best deals in town. We have soaps made of honey. We have cough syrups made of honey. We have barbecue sauce made of honey. We have salad dressing made of honey. We have honey made of honey. Who put that there? Hello? Is your refrigerator running? Yes. Well, then you better go catch it. <laughs> Zach, I can see you. Oh, yeah. Sorry, Mr. Testa. Okay, we're not going anywhere now. I'm calling the rental agency and pulling the plug. No, you're not, Tim. Open the rental car doors, Nell. I'm sorry. I can't do that, Tim. Open the doors. Hey, but they pull you over and say, hey, you know how fast you were going? <laughs> yeah, I have a gauge right in here that tells me. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say that. After you're done looking at the birds, come over here, you get a free piggyback ride. That's right, right here. Try this experiment, if you dare. Take the egg, put it in your palm the long way, and squeeze as hard as you can. Now, I'm not the strongest man in the world. I'm third strongest. Well, Skip, our reigning champion is Art from Paris, France. He's a Mac owner and a graphic designer. Our challenger is Bud from Boise. He's a PC owner and lives with his mother. Hey, you like this man? 
and this computer in holy matrimony. So by the power vested in me by the state of Nevada, I pronounce you man and computer. Come on, all right, hang on. All right, hang on, buddy. All right, where are we going? Can a guy just give free piggyback rides? Not on district property? She was able to use her knowledge of bridges to bail her out. Uh, uh, excuse me, Mr. TV man in the back, you're interrupting my class. Oh, um, I didn't think you could s uh, all right. I'm out of toner! I need toner! And a new cup! Just a real quick, short phone call. Okay, I'll... just hold on a second. Okay, okay. I just, it's really yeah, short, just for a saying second. saying something about just, needing, I, I need a quick, what, needing more space. Quick business call. Quick. Can you go away, please? Okay. I love the rules to dodgeball too. If the ball hits you in the body, you are out. If the ball hits you in the hand, you're still in. <laughs> I'm in. I'm in. You think I'm winning? No, what we're going to do is we're going to pour this honey bear with honey all over our banana. Oh, it's coming out so quickly there. Report, soldier. We lost Johnny. No! How? Paintball. Oh, they'll pay for this? Yeah! Remove the lid, place it on the table, and put the honey in a container of very warm water. Not boiling! Just climbing up to the Hollywood sign. <laughs> uh, work out a little exercise here. <sighs> what are you doing? Uh, you, piggyback, you want a free piggyback ride? What? Uh, all right, I. Yeah, I've, I've, I've got some errands to run. Okay, well, a lot of errands? Or, oh. So tell me a little bit about Tim. Oh, man. He is like so bossy. It's unbelievable. He's a pain in the butt, man. They, I mean, these kids are cool, but like he is over the top. Yeah, really. I want to go live with my mom. You know what? You know what? I moved out of my house to get away from my dad. And then on top of that, he has one beer. One out of his beer. head. It's nuts. This isn't a sand trap. This is beachfront property. Hello? In the house of the future, everything is done automatically. Welcome, Tim. They even programmed in my name. Sweet! Okay, they live 45 days long. So, okay, you've got 30,000 bees, and they're making, okay, one twelfth of a teaspoon of honey in their lifetime, and there's 200,000 beekeepers, and I don't even have a teaspoon. The malls are real crowded. To alleviate the crowds, I take along one of those survey clipboards. <laughs> Got a gig on TV. Hardest job I ever had. Go, 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 Tommy. Go, Tommy. Hey, 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 hey. Does anybody know what time it is? Dude, it's nine o'clock. Yeah, nine o'clock. Yeah. I'm Tim Testa 17, cloning batch 3. Good beaming. Happy cloning.